Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License. My Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today, we're going to be playing some more of our Final Fantasy X-2 New Yevon run. <laughs> All right, let's get into the game. Let's get into the game. We got lots to do. We got lots to do in the in the ten two. Okay, we got lots to do. Let's get our controller going. Let's get our controller going. Okay, here we go. Let's get into the game. All right. Hello. Let you. Can you see? Excuse you. OBS. There we go. Thank you. Okay. So in between streams, I tried to like level up our um our thing for doing the blitz ball, and I spent like like over an hour on it. And I still couldn't beat the Albed Sykes, and I said, fuck this, I don't need an extra AP8 that bad. I was gonna show you guys, like, beating them, beating a tournament. No, I'm not. Just kidding. Just kidding. It was too boring. So anyway, we're just gonna load up our save from last time. <laughs> but that's what those two saves are. That's me trying to show off some more of the, the boring-ass, horrible, terrible blitz ball. Alright. What we're going this time... Where we're going this time is actually the Thunder Plains. Oh, I forgot. Um, I want to look... Look at where my abilities are. Okay, so we got we're working on evading counter, and we've got quite a ways. That should be the same for all of them. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. All right, to the Thunder Plains. Uh -oh. Scare waves scattered during the concert caused fiends endemic to this region to rampage. Oh. So, in other words, your sphere screen is to blame. <laughs> Find a sphere and the fiends appear? Okay, so, we now need to defeat these fiends. Um, depending on how well you did in the, the, the mini game where we calibrated the lightning towers, will depend on what prizes you get from each of these fiends. So that's basically how this, this works. And so, depending on if you like want that particular um, item or not, you might want to actually like fully calibrate certain towers because that'll give you the best feet, uh, thing out of this chest. So we got an elixir. So, and as you progress, like the prizes get better. Like there's a way to get a Ragnarok, um, I think, and a ribbon as well, I think. Okay, so there's a remedy right there. Like there's also a couple of chests, like regular chests that, that we have. But yeah, we're just gonna defeat each of the, the fiends at each of these towers. With our berserkers. Our little cat girls. Go and take the gold! Hey sir. I'm I'm gonna beat you up now. Easy peasy. An elixir! Could be another chest over here, yes. This is some X potions. And a silly sphere sphere screen thing. Why wow, you don't mess with technology? what Yevon was trying to tell us. We don't want to listen. We want to have our cake and eat it too. So yeah, these fiends are not hard. They're fairly easy. You just go beat them all up. Unless you're underleveled, then I guess they might be hard. But we're not underleveled, so... We don't beat them up simple simple. Champion belt. Oh, what got you united with me? I'm paying no attention. Sorry, you and I. Sorry. I heal you up. Here we go. All better. Did 
this is your lucky day. Yeah, lucky to die. Bye. Open it. Okay. Get a hypno crown. An aqua ring right there. We're gonna have to do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and save. We're gonna use save slot nine. It's right over that, right over that disappointment. All right, so on this side, we're gonna beat five more. a guava LaCroix today. Guava is the best flavor of LaCroix, for real. Electrocutioner! There's a chest, I think, over here? Yeah, there it is. Some budget grenades. you up next. Please, thank you. Yeah. Got a null blaze ring. Then there's this chest right here, which is... Open it. Some turbo ethers. gonna go behind the gazebo for the third little chest in this area before we beat that monster for tower nine. So behind this gazebo here, there is sleep grenades. Okay, so that's all the treasure chests. Let's beat up tower number nine guy. I guess they don't remember, but I remember. There's 10 towers. There's one across the water. There's a sub sublimator, which is what we got from that. But yeah, all of those treasures we just got um, it, by the towers, not the, the treasure chests treasure that were just there, but all of those change based on how well you did with calibrating. You get better and better rewards. So we remember that there was a 10th tower across the water. So that's what we're gonna head over to. And head over to that tenth tower. Nice knowing you. Now, if you don't attempt to calibrate the towers at all, you'll just get the the worst reward, um, which isn't too bad. Like it's still rewards, you know. You don't get nothing. We still haven't checked that tower. Want to take a look? Let's check it out. <gasps> Boss time. Okay, let's see if we can kill him fast enough to where. His moves are tricky. Yuna! Bring it, beefsteak! Yeah. Let's go, goings! Yeah! Let's do it! Beat him up, beat him up. He can be kind of challenging, but I'm wondering if I'm over leveled enough that I can just like chain him with berserkers and he dies. 
Mighty Guard. Rude. Um, and now you're healing? What the fuck is wrong with you? That is illegal, sir. Why are you gonna Mighty Guard again? That's useless. You waste your turn. I guess so it's pointless to dispel him. Come on, die quicker. Oh my god. We might have to switch to the, the dream team combo. not seem to be working because he's regging too. We gotta kill him way faster. Yeah, now Pain's dead. And they keep missing. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not even gonna heal Pain. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let them die and then we're gonna do it again with the Dream Team. I'm sure I have a save right before this. I'm sure it auto-saved. This was too, too too challenging for the cat girls. We need to bust out the big guns. That's okay. I have a combo that's a win button. Owie. <laughs> Owie. <laughs> oh, Riku. Oh, Riku. Okay. All right. Let's go. Well, uh, let's load this auto save. Hopefully this is a good one. Hopefully it's not the cutscene. Oh, it's right after. Okay, we have to refight all those guys. We do! Dang it. Okay, well let's do this again. And then we'll switch to the, the better jobs for fighting the boss. This won't take too long. We get all these chests too. I guess that's why it asks you if you're really ready yet. Maybe I should save beforehand. I don't have to redo this in case Dream Team doesn't work out. Yeah, we are. Thank <laughs> you. 
Instead of going to tower number 10 this time, we'll run back insane. Um, the lightning isn't stopping. Let's look around soon. area in this part for the lightning to strike you. I feel like it's probably not possible. But what if it was? If like if you just stood there if it would strike you. I don't think it can. Okay, we're just gonna I'm just gonna walk on past that this time. Just walk on past. I'm gonna go save. Oh, a Chabokabo! We do need more Chabokabos. Faux show, faux show. Hmm. Okay, let's change to the dream team. We've, we're gonna have um, Dark Knight, Alchemist, Dark Knight. We got this bitch this time. We got him good. This is the dream team. This is it. This is it. You darkness, and you do the mega potion from her stash. Oops! Forgot to mention I had this. It's not fast the way all berserker is fast, but it's good. My suffering mirrors yours. to save this for something special. Still haven't checked that tower. Want to take a look? Let's check it out. Yuna! Don't be worried bring about Yuna, she's gonna be okay. Steak. Yeah, bring a beefsteak. Okay, we're back. Back to where we died before. Let's get it. No pain, no gain. What if I dispel him? Do I have a dispel tongue? Yes, I do.
hopefully that helped. No pain, no gain. This had better be worth it. Girls, you got this. Ah, oh, mighty guarded again. Bitch. So we're gonna dispel him again. Oh! Don't need to. Just kidding, we're not gonna dispel him again. Oh, everyone survived. I thought for sure that was gonna get Riku. Mission complete. Valiant Luster Garment Grid. Grigi Kimud. Tiwi Larg Radufen Wuad. Ranakik Nikaruma. He says there's another hole by the tower. Mm. Think it's connected to the others? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a faith here. Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Eludiga, we do Draruma. We going in? Um, maybe later. I'd like to save again first. <laughs> okay, let's open this chest. So we got a Tetra Guard. Okay, so we're gonna go back and save. And I wanna switch back to Berserker. I think my Berserker team could have gotten him if I had evading well, counter well. yet, but I don't have it yet. Alright, I'm ready now. Eludiga, we do draruma. We going in? Yep, in the uh -huh. hole. Sorry, Riku. We have to go into the hole. Can't just leave the hole alone. 
We got to see what's inside. How's that? How's that indeed? This, uh, this little area here is a great place to level up level skills and things, even after we finish this little bit with the mission. It's a good spot. Lots of spawns. Lots of random encounters. There's our objective over there, so I think, I think we just need to walk around this way and loop around. In, in 10. I feel like I thought she was a boss in 10. Kind of a pushover now. Turn around for a second almost. Go up this way. Yeah. Oh, who's that? Someone chilling at the end of the hole. That kind of looks like down that hallway. That kind of looked like Sid. That kind of looked like Sid. Can I open the chest before talking to him? Will it let me? I want the chest. Oh, apparently I'm getting a random encounter first. so I decided to explore it. Call it curiosity. I mean, when you find a hole, you kind of got but to. But this place is swarming with fiends. I, uh, can't get out. Do pop a favor and show them the way out of here. Uh, ow! Oh! Ow, 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 <sighs> Oh, Sid. Must have pulled something. Oh, you are so lame. Who's gonna carry him? Hey, let a man keep his pride. Got a better idea? Well, how about this?
Make your old man proud and scrap that thing. Okay, I guess. I think we're just supposed to attack him. Don't attack the the little guys. Because they change his like element or something. I'm trying to remember. I don't really remember, but I don't think he's hard enough that you have to worry about the mechanic. I think you can just beat him up. Oh, because they've got counter, they're going to end up attacking him anyway. That's okay, though. That's okay. Whoa. Oh. That looks a lot stronger than it is. <laughs> That looked really strong, but it really wasn't. <laughs> Goodbye. It's all in the wrist. Eat you up. Yeah, he can't drag a Joe Kino would have learned now. Um, you're welcome aboard our airship. Vitran, if we feed Uther Kreb, you must go to sa. He has to apologize if he wants on the ship. brother have put each other through a lot over the years. Not even Riku knows what caused their final falling out. Still, there's something nice about the whole thing. If only I could have talked like this with my father. Or you, with yours. Bringing it back to the daddy issues. What Ten is known for. So now what we gotta do is go up to the deck and talk to Sid. We saw him when we were Shameful having a little bit. Gun. Oh, just who does he take after anyway? All right, then we gotta go back on the bridge. That didn't sound like it went well. Okay, after this, Sid is in the engine room. ain't half bad. Okay, so that's all he does. So that is all the things for percentage points in the Thunder Plains, but that area we were just in, you saw there was a treasure chest there we didn't get to open. That's a whole optional dungeon, which when we, um, when we played this, when we played this during our, you know, 400 follower week long thing, I did not know how to do that dungeon. Well, I know how to do that dungeon now. So we're gonna go back and do it, but first I'm gonna save. Um, we should be at 87.4%. So I'm gonna use our little, our little save viewer tool to make sure that's true. Yes, 87.4, okay. So let's go back down to Thunder Plains. Okay. 
We gotta traverse over to that area again. Bring it! She's not getting into this. She's trying. I wish it dropped me off at the travel agency instead of back here. That would make more sense. It's the more central location. talk to the man again and tell him that we want to go in the hole again. We always want to dive into the holes, dude. Yep, in the hole. Okay, this will explain what you're supposed to do, but I'm going to explain what you're supposed to do better. Um, so it's going to take us through this little tutorial. We choose a chest. Okay. Yeah, top left, current wall's number, key number one. Bottom right, number of the next wall to open, which is key number two. Remember these two key numbers. All right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not always so simple. Um, step by step example, no. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to turn off encounters. This is gonna be really important later. So we're gonna have no encounters while we go through this dungeon. You do not want any. Okay, the first thing we need to do is go to the first um, red arrow, which is wall three. Okay, so wall three. Three, so wall number three is, let's see. We've got eight, and we've got 10, which equals 18. So the code for this one should be 18. Mm. Oh, I wrote it down wrong. It's eight and three. Oh my God, I'm already writing things down wrong. Eight and three, which makes it 11. So just eight? I thought... Hmm. Maybe it's just eight. Do I not remember how to do this? to write that down so it's three so wall number three is three forgot to write that first number down okay that's the same explanation uh yeah let's do the step-by-step -step example because apparently i don't remember everything Okay, let's take another look at the messages. Yeah, no data in three. 
Okay, so then we proceed to three. It, it walk, it'll walk you there if you do the example. The number on the top left corner is one. Okay, yeah. But I gotta write down the 10 number, so that's one, okay. Let's try that again. Number is one. Number two, input four to open the wall. Oh, I'm putting in the wrong fucking, oh my God, I'm so silly. That's why it wasn't working before. Okay, so since we wrote down one from the 10 before, this is all about writing down the numbers. So that bottom right corner number was one, for wall 10, so I wrote it down. Now before we go to that wall, um, there is a chest over here. And there's lots of chests throughout this. So before we go to the wall, we're gonna go open this chest. Some diamond gloves. Okay, so we gotta write down, for number 11, it gives us an 89. For number 10, it gives us a 25. We had a one before, so that means the correct answer is 26. Empty. Open. Okay, we got some hyper wrists. Okay, before we go further, I need a quick break. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, we're back. All right. There's a couple of things on this back wall here that I want to show. So we turned off encounters, so we're not going to have to use this, but. This battle compendium right here will show you all the number of battles that you fought in between each wall. So that might be really helpful if, uh, if uh, later on. And then if you go all the way east, there's another one. That's useful. This is the code compendium, so it'll show you the walls for all of the codes so far. So you can see we did four for wall number three, um, and we did 26 for wall number 10. Okay, now we're gonna go north, this way. And then there's a chest right here before the next wall. Some mystery veil. Okay, so we had 89 before, we have 443, and then for the next wall, we've got, oh, wall 10's code. So wall 10's code was 26. Okay, so what is, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to open my calculator. <laughs> so we need 89 plus 443. That's gonna be 532. Empty. Okay. If we go south and then east, there's another treasure chest. So that's a talisman. Okay. We're gonna go west this way. Then we're gonna turn north. To get to the next wall.
This place is a serious maze, like you can really get lost up in here. Another good reason to turn off battles, other than the codes. Okay, so for wall five, we've already got, we already know 26, so then that's 234. And then wall one, battles between enter the cave and opening wall 11. Okay, so that's gonna be zero because we turned off battles. So this is why you wanna turn off battles because then you don't have to count the num the battles that you're doing. So it's like one less thing to keep track of. Okay, so for wall five, we have 634 um, plus 26, which is 660. Okay, so that opens that wall. Did we get anything? Ah, you hear, hole open the distance. Okay, so the next wall opened on its own, okay. And then it tells us what that code is. So the code for one was 532 because it's gonna open for us, so it's gotta tell us that. So 532, and then for wall eight, five's code, which is six. Just looking at my notes, I'm a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was just looking at my notes. I think this is right here. I think it would be, I think what this is telling me is six, six, seventeen plus, because I know wall eight is a number plus five's code, which five's code was 660, plus the number of battle sense entering the cave, which is zero for us. So that would be 617 plus 660, which is 1077. So I think that's what it's saying. Okay. Anyway, we've got all the numbers written down, so we're going to figure it out. All right. So now... Um, we're gonna go... Mm -mm -mm. West. It gets a little disorienting whenever you, um, whenever it, like, opens a wall for you. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we just did wall five. So wall one is auto open for us. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, now wall eight is auto open. Okay, the code for eight was 640, 6, 643, which means that was, yeah, I don't know. Twelve is wall eleven's code. Oh, the number, the additional numbers change. Okay, wall eleven's code plus wall one's code. So wall eleven's code was five thirty-two, and wall one's code was also five thirty-two. What I've got written down. Okay. I think I need to go this way for a chest. Yep. Yep, there it is. Okay. This is nature's lore. Track and go down this way.
than we're at this one that already opened for us. Helping hand, the code for wall 11 was 532 and the code for wall one was also 532. Okay, so I do have that right in my notes. Okay, so we're gonna come down this way. And this, oh, this is already an open wall. <laughs> you open that chest. Okay, so this this is the next one. Oh my god. Okay, so we've got six fifty-seven. So I think it's five thirty-two plus five thirty-two plus six fifty-seven. So 13, okay, we're at a straight up number. 7692. So you write that down. Okay. So 532 plus 532 plus 657. 1721. There we go. Got it. Okay. Ah, sweet. Okay. The code for 13 was 16012. Okay. Battles between entering the cave and opening wall 12, which is zero. Okay, for the next one. All right. Oh, this one is already open. Okay, so this was the wall 13, which was 16012. It's empty. Boo! Okay. Oh, wrong way. Okay, so this is wall nine. So the other one is wall 10's code. So what was wall 10's code? Wall 10's code was 26. And the other clue was battles. So I think so it's just 26. Then this next code for wall six is wall 13's code plus wall one's code. So wall 13's code was 16012 and wall one's code was 532. Okay. All right. Empty, boo. Okay, now we gotta make it to all six. This game made me do all kind of math. It made me do stupid sphere break, and now it made me do this. Too much math in this game. I don't like it. Okay, so for wall six, we've got wall 13's code, wall one's code, wall 11's code, and then 6466. Okay. Well, 11's code was 532. Okay, and the next one for seven is wall 10's code. And then battles since opening wall 13, which is zero. What was wall 10's code? So wall 10's code was 26. Okay. So for this one that we're trying to open right now, we need 16012 plus 532 plus 532 plus 6266. 
think. Okay, hopefully that's right. It's 23,342. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Okay. The other clue was wall 13's code, wall 1's code, wall 11's code. Maybe it's, maybe I wrote down wall 1's code and it's actually just wall 11? Okay, let's try 16012 plus 532 plus 6266. That would be 22810. Nope. Oh my god. It's not 62666666. Okay, let's try that again. So maybe my original math was just, I just didn't write down the fourth number wrong. Okay. Or didn't write down right. Okay. So we've got 16012. Plus 532 plus 532 plus 64666. That would be 23542. No, okay, I'm still messing up somewhere. Wall 11's code plus 6466. And I thought the other clue was wall 13's code, which is... sixteen oh twelve plus wall 1's code, which is... 532. Okay, well, let's go back to our compendium. I hope I didn't write something down wrong and have to start over. Oh my gosh, stop flipping camera. I don't think there's a way to get the clues again. Code compendiums this way. The one on the other side's battle compendium. Okay. So wall 13's code was 1612, yes. Wall 1's code was 532. Wall 11's code was 532. So I have something wrong for this one. I'll just do my addition again. So if we take wall 13's code 16012, wall 1's code, which is 532 plus 532 plus 6466, 23, What did I misread?
So we do 16, 012 plus 532 plus 532 plus 466. That's what brings us to 23542. So try that one more time. And it worked that time. I was on the wrong wall, I guess. Okay, so anyways. <gasps> my god. Empty, okay. So then we wanna go over here to wall seven. When calculating codes based on gill, remember to use zero for a negative amount of gill. So here's also why you want to, especially why you want to turn off encounters, because look at this one. So remember our other clue was wall 10's code plus battle sense opening wall 13 plus gill gain sense entering the cave, like you have been tracking that. Anyway, it's all zeros for us because we're not doing any battles. So it's going to be 26. Before we enter that, we got to write down, okay, it's walls 10 code plus wall 11's code. Okay. 26. And there we go. Now you can um, come over here and it's a gill guide. So you can see the gill that you've earned. So you can, you, you can use the compendium. Empty. Okay. What was wall 10's code? So wall 10's code was 26 and then wall 11's code was 532. Okay. Mm. I think there's a chest somewhere around here. Oh, it's this dead end, I bet. Yes, there it is, okay. Corpus Invictus, it's a key item. There we go. Then we got HP limit break for pain. All right, next wall is wall 14. I think we gotta go just down this way. Okay, here we go, wall 14. So, and then, okay, so the last number is wall nine's code. Which is 26. So this should be 26 plus 532 plus 26, which is 17660. Clue for number two is twenty two nine sixty two. Hmm? This is fourteen, right? Okay, so it should be tens code, elevens code, and nines code. Try that again. Five. 32 plus 26 plus 26. Oh, I don't know how I got 17,660. That's way too high. I shouldn't even realize that. Okay, 584. And 
empty. Okay. Next wall is back up here. since opening wall 10, which we know is zero. So this should just be 22962. Okay, and for 15, it's wall 10's code. Plus battles, okay, zero, and then gill, which is zero. So what was walls 10, wall 10's code? 26. That should make all right, so just twenty six so far. Okay. Ah, oh. so this is the same compendium I already have for Gil. Anyways, oh, it gave me both compendiums. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, so for wall 15, we're gonna go all the way back down and then head back north to that wall. Gil. Okay. So we've got 26 so far, plus 27726, plus 68711, plus Gil since opening wall 14, uh, which is zero. Okay. So it's 27726, plus 68711, plus 26 which is nine, six, four, six, three. Okay. And then the next clue for 16 is nine, 53. We got a simple just number. <laughs> okay. Three. Okay. Nine, six, four, six, three. Yes. This chest is Salvation Promise Garment Grid. So this is what we've been trying to get. This is what we've been trying to get, the Salvation Promise Garment Grid. Uh, that That is our prize. Okay, so this is 127, wall four, one, okay. So this will be nine, be three, plus 127, which is, 80. One plus zero. Okay, one. That's it. And we're out. We opened all the walls. We did all the things. We did it. We got all the treasure chests. Successful. So yeah, the garment grid that we got out of that. Is 
is the white mage one. Salvation promised, use white magic abilities. We're gonna go save now. Okay, now guess what? There is a different prize if we do the dungeon all over again. So let's go do it again. <laughs> we don't open all those treasure chests, we only get the chest at the end, but we're gonna go do all that fun math again. It's gonna be all new numbers, um, new confusion, yay. <laughs> so yeah, there's incentive to do this crazy math dungeon twice. At least I have a calculator and I can take notes. Okay, yes, I wanna go in the hole again because I love to torture myself with numbers. Okay, so this time we had a four. Yep, 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 we already know, we just did it. Um, yep, 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 yeah, step by step. So you do the first one for me. Okay, yep, no data, four. All right, so then we have five, and then for 10, we have eight. What? Oh my gosh. But you're not gonna make me famous, you're just offering promotion, so like, that's not really worth it. Um, yeah. Goodbye. You would have said you were gonna make me famous, then I might have been interested. Okay. Yeah, so four plus five is nine. All right, no clue. No helping hand, oh well. So yeah, we have to go through and open all the doors again to get to the very end. All the treasure chests that we did before, they're all ready done, so we don't have to worry about that. We're just gonna get the chest at the end. But I guess if you missed any, when you come back in here, you could do that. Okay, so our first clue is 31. Clue for the next wall is 38. Okay, so 31 plus 8 is 39. Got a free wall. Okay, so that code was 892. Um, and then, okay, wall 10's code, which is 39. We gotta head up to wall five now. Can't go that way. Okay, I gotta go all the way down. Otherwise, I get blocked. So here's that wall. Oh. Hey, bingo. Okay, wall five's code was 146. Okay, it's battle, so it's zero.
You know, to make this dungeon cooler, they could have given it some more visual interest. It's literally just rocks everywhere. They could have given us something fun to look at while doing all this silly math. Okay, so here's this wall. Empty. To wall one okay so wall 11's code and we know the other clue was battle so it was zero and wall 11's code was 892 the clue for wall eight is 575 okay so this is just 892 then Yay! Okay, wall 8's code was 721, and then wall 12's code okay, is wall 11 plus wall 1. So wall 11 is 892, and wall 1 is also 892. Go down to 12. Oh, not that way. This way. Fifty-four, and then for wall thirteen, we've got nine five seven zero. Oh. Okay, so if we do eight ninety two plus eight ninety two plus three fifty four, we get two one three eight. That was just a clue. That was just a hint. That did not actually help because I already know how to do this. Gosh. Okay, here's the next one. So 3659 is the other 13 clue. And battles. Okay, so that's zero. Okay. So we've got 9570. Plus three six five nine, which is thirteen two two nine. Uh, empty. Okay. going the right way? No, I should be going the other way. It's up here. It's up here! Okay. Oh, and wall 10's code. The wall 10 is 39. This is for six, it's wall five's code plus wall one's code. So five's code was one, 
46, while one's code was 892. Okay. So this one right here should be 39. Empty. You should be automatically opening the walls for me all the time, chests. This emptiness is nonsense. Okay. So this is wall number six. This is wall one's code, which was 892 plus 0097 and the next wall is going to be wall 13's code and battles which is zero okay so wall 13's code was 13229 okay so for this wall we've got five's code 146 plus 892 so that's one's code plus one's code again plus 6 097 which is 8027 There we go. Got it for that wall gave me so much trouble last time. Uh empty. Okay. Go to wall 7. This is the gill one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and Gil since entering the cave. So this one should just be wall 13's code then. 13229. And the next one is wall 6 code plus wall 1's code. So wall 6's code was 8027. Wall 1's code was 892. Okay. Alright, so this should be 9 132229. Oh, open the chest. Empty. Alright. This way. Ah, uh, nope, dead end. <laughs> Hang on. I think if we just do it like this. We can walk like all the way down this way, I think. Yeah. Yes, we can. is wall 14. Wall 5's code is the last clue. Okay. Wall 5 was 146. Okay. So we've got 8027 plus 892 plus 146. Okay. Need to write down the for number 2. So 43471. Okay, so this should be 9065. Yeah. And we're doing good this time. Empty. Okay, is this wall too right here? I need to go back out and around, I bet. Yeah, okay. That's probably wall 15 right there. Too bad I can't just skip. I'm 
imagine trying to do this puzzle while also doing battles. So you have to keep track of your gill and like the number of battles themselves. Crazy. Okay, this is, oh, number of battles. Okay, so that's gonna be a zero. Um, what is this next one? Wall nine's code plus number of battles plus skill earned. Okay, so what was wall, wall nine's code? 39. Okay, so this one should just be a previous number, 43471. Three, four, seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Didn't really need that, but thank you. Okay, back to where we were a second ago. Now that we've got the clue for that. I just walked up the wrong one. Go back this way. Just kidding. Meant to go over here. There we go. All right, this is the last little series of walls. So we already know it's wall code nine, and then the battles, Gil, okay. And then the other two numbers, 27, 287, and then 70696. For wall 16, we've got 867. Okay. So for this wall, it should be 39 plus 27 287 plus 70696. Okay, so that brings us to 98022. Yeah. Alright, next wall. It was 867 plus this is 929. Wall 4 is 1. Okay. So if we do 867 plus 929, we get 1796. Yeah. Okay. No more helping hands to give. This one's always gonna be one. And then this chest spawns. Since you go through it twice, oh my god. Stop flipping around camera. There we go. And you get a force of nature. It's an accessory. So this accessory, go take a look at it. Adds all elements to a text, turns elemental damage to HP. So it's pretty freaking strong. It's pretty freaking strong. So you might want that. Um, very helpful. That's the reason to do it twice. That's the reason to do it twice. So it takes a while, but you get a pretty good prize for it.
Okay, next what we're going to do is actually just go check on our chocobos. I want to see how many chocobos we have because we need to farm some up so that we can finish that. Uh, that We did the level 1 and 2 chocobos, but we didn't have enough level 3 chocobos, so we need to do some more farming. Oh, and I guess we don't need encounters off anymore. There we go. Cho 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 cho. Let's go. What's up, Clasco? Um, let's Choco Browser. Okay, we've got nine total Chocobos. We've only got two level threes. Okay, Choco Reserve five. Let's go check on him. Okay. Aha, we can get him to level three. Feed away. Okay. Oh, and he can go to level four, too. <gasps> awesome. Okay, we need one more level three. We have nine total, so we can get... We can get five more. Okay, so let's go farm five more chocobos. What is it, queen? Alright, best place to farm bold chocobos is the Thunder Plains, don't you agree? Don't you agree, Queen? <laughs> Hello! You want to help us farm chocobos? We need five. All right, let's jack encounters up. Let's get five choke bows. <laughs> Run around in circles. Run around in circles. Yuna, mari mas. Fish to fry. Hell yeah. Chocobos, come on. We fought so many battles, I should have seen one by now. I'm gonna whack you good! It's all when we were doing the uh, mission here. The chapter in. So it complete. Alright! Mm-hmm. Go 
come here? All right. I need y'all's pro gamer energy to help me find the chocobos. Make them spawn. I'll take a break. What? Hey, we need you. Yeah, don't take a break, please. Oh my god, we haven't we found one yet. see Riku spazzing out there in the corner of the head. He was like trying so hard to run into the little quadricorn. Whatever they're called in this game. Me, they're quadricorn. You know, they just have an accessory that attracts more chocobos for this part that you can get. Farm them. This is leveling up Berserker, which we need to finish doing that anyways. We gotta get that final expensive freaking skill. So, it's not like we're wasting it. It's benefiting us for that. Signed and sealed. This is kitty stuff! Is it? No, you just leveled up so much that it seems like that. All right. Amazing match. Ha, <laughs> great. Okay, this is starting to seem rigged. I hadn't even seen one. There we go, finally. Okay. Caught a chocobo. Okay, we need four more.
Hopefully now that we caught one. Oh, not freaking Geshel Greens again. The other four will come easy. Sorry, Riku. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to have you heal the monsters. <gasps> There's another one! I love that. I love that counter. You're dead already. I didn't even have to attack. All right, there we go. Chocobo's coming now. Uh, Mateo? Get him. This is kitty stuff. Is it? Come on, come on. Three more, three more. Keep the chocos coming. You must have been giving me good gamer energy for those chocobos, and then you got distracted, so I'm calling your attention back. Calling your attention back. Give me that good gamer energy again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, I knew you could do it. Yeah. We, I made some spinach dip last night, guys, and it's just, next morning we're going to taste it. Really good. Mm, mm hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, I love spinach dip. All right, two more. Two more, two more, two more. Confident, huh? Chocobos, two more. All right. I started the football season, so that means football snacks are back, you guys. We're gonna have um, we have wings, which we have wings on Sunday, kind of often anyway. But we also have the spinach dip, and um, I think we're having um little smokies as well, little smokies. It's going to be a really delicious day. Well, well. Come on, come on, just two more. Chocobo! Right. Um, 
rude. Mateo. Okay, caught. We just need one more. by itself. Don't run, don't run. No! That was too slow. Bitch. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Last one. Ah, great. We got too unlucky with that one running away. That should have been our last chocobo. Chocobo. Last Chocobo. Okay, everybody, give me that push. Give me that push. Since that last one didn't work out, we still we gotta find the one more. He's okay. Need that gamer energy. There we go, there we go. Okay, don't run, don't run.
Got him. Got him, got him, got him. We did it. We farmed the chocobos. Okay, so. Let's save. Let's get back on the airship. All right, so. I'm gonna take my break. If you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.